Hi viewers, welcome to Shri Bharati Technologies YouTube channel. I am Bharati. Today I am explaining about how to enter expenses in a tally frame. In previous videos, I explained about how to create company in tally, how to create ledgers in tally frame. I explained. So now today, one of the important topic I am explaining, how to enter expenses in a tally frame, how to record expenses in a tally frame. So we are working in an organization. We are running when we are running a business. Daily so many expenses it's going on, like rent paid, advertisement expenses paid, commission paid, cash paid, stationary expenses paid. This like so many expenses it's going on. How to enter that expenses in a tally frame? I am explaining ma. So I am requesting to viewers, please subscribe my channel. Like the videos and share the videos ma. In this Shri, Ta Shri Bharati Technologies. Online classes also we are conducting. If you want to learn Tally Prime, Tally RP9, GST, full courses. Please contact this number ma. After completion of course we are providing, we are giving certificate also. ISO certificate also we are giving. All computer courses available in this. So, if you want to learn any full-fledged courses, please contact this number. Now, first of all, how to enter expenses in a tally frame? So, daily in your organization, expenses it is going on. We want to record expenses in a tally frame means, first of all, we want to create a ledger. So, all expenses we are entering into payment voucher mark. All expenses we are record, we are entering in payment voucher. First of all, what is payment voucher? Payment payment voucher is a one of the voucher in tally prime. Ma. We have a some regular vouchers in a tally prime. Six regular vouchers we have like receipt voucher, payment voucher, purchase voucher, sales voucher, contract voucher like this. All expenses we want to enter into payment voucher. Payment voucher shortcut key F5 ma. Any type of cash payment or bank payments, DDs and checks and cash payments were entering payment voucher. All payments like some expenses we are paying through cash, some expenses we are paying through bank. So some expenses we are paying through check, bank means through check we are paying. So some expenses we are paying through DDs also. That all expenses, whatever it may be. So you are paying, no? you are paying through cash, you are paying by check, you are paying expenses by DD. That all we are recording under payment voucher. Ma. To record, simply we are saying means to record cash and bank payments and expenses in a payment voucher. So some, exa some examples I, I um, some examples I mentioned here. For example, see here, paid building advance rupees 20,000 by cash, purchased office furniture, by cash, furniture account data to cash, purchased office stationery 10,000 rupees by cash, stationery to cash, paid salaries 20,000 by cash, paid salaries by cash, paid salaries by check. We are paying salaries by check. So bank name, which check you are paying? Particular bank name also you want to mention, HDFC bank check. Paid rupees 25,000 to Sri traders by check. Here we are paying check to Supplier, rent paid by check, stationary expenses paid by cash, advertisement expenses paid by cash, wages paid, traveling expenses paid, packing charges paid, courier charges paid, cash paid, dislike. So any expenses it is going on in your organization that all expenses we are updating and in payment voucher. Now we are opening tally frame. How to recall, how to enter this expenses in tally frame? I am explaining now. See, I am opening a tally frame. Already we are created a company in law. Already we are created a company. Ma. You, if you don't know how to create company in tally frame, already we are created a company. How to create a company, how to create ledgers in a tally frame. That video links I am updating in a description. So if you want to learn, please click the links and learn more. I already we are created a company. Now we want to create a ledgers. Ma. Create ledgers. So what expenses we want to record that all ledgers we want to create it. Paid building advance. So building advance ledger we want to create now. Some ledgers already I am created. We will see. Ma. 
so ledger we will see how to see go to alter ledger see building advance account already i am created building advance account under group it comes under deposit and assets so it comes under deposits and assets next what we have office furniture we have so see office furniture we are not created only furniture i am created so that furniture account comes under fixed assets see comes under fixed assets control a next ledger what we have stationery so stationery expenses also already i am created stationery expenses ledger name under indirect expenses ma so enter you can save it control a next what we have paid salaries by cash salaries ledger also or salaries ledger also already we are created we have so salaries paid also we have here already we are created salaries paid also so control a next what ledgers we have paid salaries by hdfc bank hdfc bank ledger also i am created already hdfc bank it comes under bank accounts now we can save it control a next what ledger we have paid rupees 25000 to sri traders by check so sri traders by check name is sri traders sri traders account data to bank account now we want to create this is sri traders name create ledger sri traders so he is a sandy creditor we are we are purchased goods from sri traders now we are paying cash to that company so sandy creditors now control a you can press it automatically this screen it is saving i am saving control a so next one what we have rent paid by hdfc bank check so we want to check rent paid ledger we have or not alter ledger rent paid rent already we have it comes under indirect expenses ma only ledger name do you want to type under group you want to select it other information you not not required ma not required to type anything so control you can press it next to after rent paid what expenses we have stationery expenses already we have advertisement expenses ma we don't have this one wages paid wages all wages already we have see wages paid already we have other information we not required anything wages comes under direct expenses ma wages comes under direct expenses next to traveling expenses traveling expenses also already we have traveling expenses comes under indirect expenses under group indirect expenses you can save it control a what we are paying that all expenses comes under indirect expenses only ma next to packing charges packing charges we don't have we want to create it courier charges also we don't have we want to create it cash paid to venkat venkat name already we have or not we want to check we don't have ma so some ledgers already i am created so we no need to create some ledgers i am not created i am creating ma so courier charges so all courier charges this comes under indirect expenses under group you can save it control a next to what charges we have packing charges this like what expenses we have first of all you want to create that expense ledgers cash paid cash paid to venkat venkat i am creating venkat is a sandy creditor we are paying cash no so control a you can press it so this like all expenses it comes under indirect expenses ma okay all ledgers we are created so what expenses we are paying that all comes under indirect expenses <coughs> so now some expenses comes under direct expenses also like wages paid freight expenses paid factory relating to all factory expenses comes under direct expenses ma remaining on the, all office expenses comes under indirect expenses after in main gateway of tally you can go to vouchers so so in a button bar it is showing voucher types ma see contra voucher see after opening a voucher this is a voucher screen in a button bar different types of vouchers it is showing like a contra voucher payment voucher general voucher like this which voucher do you want to create you want to select it ma now we want to create a payment voucher i am selecting ma payment voucher first we can date we want to change you no know? payment in which date we are paid amount date we want to change it date you can press it now suppose for example first march 2022 date i am putting ma so date i am enter 
automatically what ledgers we are created see list of ledger accounts right side it is showing already we are created a ledgers so right side it is showing ledgers suppose you are not created a ledger means here also create ledger it is possible to creating a ledger you can press create button see ledger creation box it is showing you can create it ma. otherwise not required so okay first two i am updating this one ma. so cash paid rupees 15000 to venkat 13th one i am updating so cash paying to venkat debit it is showing venkat to so here bill wise details it is showing new reference it is you can select it how much we are pay, paying 15000 rupees we are paying ma. what we are paying cash see right side ledger city showing you can select it so cash paid to venkat so cash paid to venkat so next one what we have courier charges paid see courier charges paid so how much you are paying 900 rupees courier charges i am paying through cash i am paying you can select it cash courier charges paid by cash ma. cash you can select it cash enter you can save it ma. so next what we have packing charges paid traveling expenses paid wages paid so this like we have so many expenses ma. now traveling expenses paid how much we are paying traveling expenses 10,000 rupees so enter cash you can select it okay like this we are updating the expenses for example here so i am updating this one rent paid by check ma 10000 rupees so sixth one rent paid by check 10000 rupees so rent i am selecting how much we are paying 10000 rupees bank bank name you can select it ma we are paying by check no so bank name i am selecting so rent paid by check so you can save it ma suppose rent paid by cash we have means rent you can select it how much rupees you are paying you can update it here cash you can select it so mode of payment so you are paying through cash means cash we want to select it you are paying through check means bank name we want to select it ma. so next one so what we have so next to paid salaries by check 1 lakh rupee salaries paid how much we are paying 1 lakh rupee we are paying so through check we are paying so bank name you can select it so this like we are updating all expenses what you have so next we have purchased office stationery by cash stationery account data to cash account so how much stationery expenses 10,000 rupees so here cash stationery expenses paid by cash so you can save it next to advertisement expenses paid ma. we are not created ledger huh? okay I am not created ledger I am clicking here create button advertisement expenses advertisement expenses it comes under indirect expenses only so you can save it control a so how much we are paying advertisement expenses 23,000 rupees I am paying through cash I am paying okay this is how to recording expenses in a tally time suppose I am updated all expenses in a tally time now if you want to view that all expenses where you are recording you can click the day book ma. here day book you can click it see on first March date how many expenses I am updated it is showing no okay so so how to record expenses in a tally time we learned this is useful ma on the time of working so it is very useful actually <laughs> so uh, subscribe the channel like the videos okay okay viewers uh, in the next so how to create watches in it how to create how to enter expenses in a tally plan we learn now so next to class so in uh, for next to be so in the next video i am explaining about how to enter incomes in a tally prime how to recording incomes in a tally time i am explaining please subscribe my channel like the videos share the videos ma thank you for watching